Hi guys, um, I wanted to briefly talk about a post that this beautiful young lady, uh, Shantae Atkins, had put up. Um, I want to talk about uh, her post and within her comment section, uh, the exchange that her and I had back and forth. Um, this is definitely not a negative video. This is not a bash video. I'm not, not here to do any of that. That's not what I do. But I just want to kind of talk about how uh, we as Christians should not walk in the spirit of offense or being easily offended, especially um, with another brother and sister in Christ that may have a difference of opinion or um, constructive criticism. I'm just hoping that we as Christians, as, as brothers and sisters in Christ, can get wisdom to discern whether a person is coming in a place of uh, negativity or they're trying to be an accuser of the brethren or different things like that. I'm just asking that God gives us wisdom on discerning the origins behind the things that people may say. And I think that a lot of times when we're writing something, it can be misconstrued. It can be taken out of context. It can be taken the wrong way because you can't hear the tone and um, the way that a person is speaking something. You can't really hear verbally. That's why sometimes it's good to verbally have an exchange instead of like texting. I hope that Instagram um, comes up with something where you can do voice messages within the comment section of a person's post. So that way you can actually verbally hear whether or not a person is being nasty or if they're coming from a place that's not negative, if you know what I mean. Now, for all of you guys who are not... Um, Christian savvy, if you will, and don't know about the uh, gospel industry. This is Shantae Atkins. She is actually the little baby sister, the younger sister of uh, the wonderful group Mary Mary with Erica Campbell and Tina Campbell. Uh, they are uh, the Campbells or the Atkins uh, sisters. I know they have a lot of brothers and sisters but the most active one is Shante Atkins and Gugu and um, Tina and Erica so you pretty much you know about Mary Mary and their family um, if you don't you're kind of like on under a rock somewhere <laughs> but they have very strong personalities they're headstrong strong willed that's what is that's what we see that's what's portrayed whenever we see them um but we do see soft parts to them we were allowed uh because of their show mary mary we were able to see a little bit into their lives a little bit with their families how they are with their husbands and children and different things like that but they are very strong women let me just say that. So you already know this. So that that's not a secret. But anyways, I wanted to talk about the post that Shantae Atkins had put up, which I liked. So I'm just going to put it on the screen here. You can either pause the parts that you want to read for yourself. But um, as you can see the post here, it says people will get every Bible degree they can and attend the top seminaries, but don't cast out devils. That is a disgrace. Signs follow what you believe, not just degrees and titles. How can you believe in Jesus but neglect the area of ministry? Which I liked. I did like that. I thought it was a very true post. Um, but as you can see, with her post, you can see the caption here that I'm putting on the screen. And basically, she feels as if um, all believers should be casting out demons all believers should be doing this because the bible does clearly clearly talk about um jesus telling us that greater works will we do more than him if we disbelieve and um we have faith so we already know what the bible says about that but she was basically in her caption saying that all believers should be casting out demons so when I saw that, what I sincerely, what I had in mind 
immediately I started thinking about all of the babes and the people that are not fit to cast out demons. I don't believe that me personally, I don't believe that all believers should be casting out demons simply because me personally, I think every believer is not living right or they're going through different stages and phases in their walk in the Lord and they're just not there yet. So no, I don't believe all believers should be casting out demons because all believers aren't fit. All believers are not living right. So you can't cast out demons when you are kind of still struggling with your own demons. You know what I'm saying? You haven't fully got delivered from what you're struggling with or what you're weak to. You haven't fully surrendered that thing to God. So no, I don't feel like all believers should be casting out demons. Now, with us being saved and filled with the Holy Spirit, having Christ in us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, yes, we have access, we have the power within us, but we haven't tapped into it yet because we are still walking through our process. So no, I don't believe all believers should be doing that. It just depends on your level. So that's what I sincerely had in my mind when I read her post. Okay. So as you can see here, here is my response. I said, every Christian has different callings, gifts. We weren't all called to preach. That's why you have some preachers. We weren't all called to teach. That's why you have teachers. We weren't all called to sing. That's why you have some that sing. And surely every Christian is not anointed or appointed to cast out demons. You have to be appointed for that assignment, specifically anointed by God to deal in that realm. Many are called, but few are chosen. Only the ones who are chosen can do this assignment. Am I missing something? This is what I said. And her response to me was, yes, you're missing it all. Read the Bible. Now, when she said that, I didn't take offense to it because I do read my Bible, but she doesn't know that. But for her to make a statement like that, to me, that statement came off very um, judgmental because that's that's throwing it out there that I obviously don't read the Bible. If she said I'm missing it all and for me to read my Bible, she doesn't know what my private life is like. She don't know what my prayer life is like, and she surely doesn't know what I do as far as in the word and how much time I spend in the word. So that right there to me was a very um, judgmental response. So, but I, so my response, I said to her, um, I don't read just to read. I read to understand by studying the word of God and God clearly differentiated uh, the different gifts and calling in Ephesians 4, 11 through 16. And so her response was, this post isn't about gifts and callings. You made this post about what's in your mind. I use a scripture that references casting out demons and you're referring or you're referencing a scripture that talks about gifts. So the scriptures that you mentioned doesn't talk about casting out devils. Let's stick with scriptures that deal with casting out devils. Mentioning gifts and callings is irrelevant to the topic of casting out demons, which I can understand that because her post was talking about you know, why pastors have all these credentials, but they're not casting out devils. But that's not, I wasn't talking solely about the post. I was speaking in reference to her caption. In her caption, she was saying all Christians should be casting out demons. So this is my next response to hers. I said, I was speaking in reference to your caption. You stated that all believers should be casting out demons. And I was just saying all can't cast out demons if not assigned or appointed. I'm on the same team as a sister in Christ, as a fellow believer. Blessings. And she says, all believers can cast out devils if they believe, period. 
if you don't cast out devils is because you don't believe so um pretty much after she said that i just said okay understood you know because i'm not here to argue but again my whole thoughts were the people who are unfit to be casting out demons that's the only people i was thinking about i was just only thinking about them so that's why i said okay understood but i got to thinking about that and i had another conversation about this post with someone and um i had forgot to mention um the other thing that i wanted to add because i didn't want her to think that i was trying to be argumentative but i was just solely thinking about the people who are unfit and how they shouldn't attempt going around stepping into that demonic realm trying to call themselves casting out demons when they shouldn't be doing that so i also added to this uh, dialogue here i said um also i forgot to mention this yesterday but i also believe another reason Preachers, teachers, evangelists, prophets, believers, etc. aren't casting out demons uh, is because they aren't living right and still struggling with things. So they know these demons that they may attempt to cast out will start telling on them and look at them crazy because those demons can recognize them. Every believer is not living right, so they don't have the grounds nor authority because they didn't go through the process to get delivered from the same demons they're trying to cast out. All believers aren't fit. It depends on your level, maturity, and the stage you are in the Lord. That's that's what I said. So um, she didn't say anything in response to that or anything like that, but today she had put up this post and i'm gonna put the clip morning, in Insta. so um i'm going to be posting i know it's not so snowing okay no it's not snow i'm going to be posting a lot of stuff about you know like deliverance exposing you know different things that go on during this uh season in this time i know that you guys uh some of you guys you know enjoy it some of you guys don't i'm just gonna ask and give a warning um, if you come to my page trying to argue in the comments, um, especially about deliverance and things about spiritual warfare, I'm going to block you. I love you, but you'll have to be blocked um, because I know this is high time, you know, for um, uh, some of the wicked people. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, your demons are getting agitated because you don't like what I'm saying or what I'm posting. That's fine. You can post whatever you want on your page. But for this one you're going to go ahead and get blocked. So I'm just, I'm just um, warning you because I want you guys to be prepared. Don't want you to be upset. And I want you to know exactly why it's happening. So you guys have a great day. Be blessed. So as you can see, um, she put up that post. Now, for the most part, most of her comments, the people in the comment sections of the post that she put up, they are mostly like in agreement with what she's talking about. Most of the time, I really don't see any comments that's really negative she may get some but um i haven't seen any of course i don't see all of her posts um so i wouldn't know who's in the comment section trying to be combative and defensive or argumentative or rude or uh just coming from a negative place i don't read all of her comments so when i saw that i was like um thinking about the post that she had put up about demons and how my comment was the only comment where we kind of like um went back and forth on that and i was like i had to check myself i was like well god i hope she doesn't think that i was trying to discourage her from talking about deliverance or her deliverance ministry or casting out demons and things as such because that's definitely not my intentions nor the origins behind the words that i was saying the reason why i was so adamant about what i was saying was because i was considering and thinking about all the people who are unfit they're just unfit to be stepping into that realm 
and they know nothing about deliverance ministries. They know nothing about demons. You cannot fight demons with demons, especially if you're still playing with them or still struggling with the things that you know that is just not good. That's I was solely thinking about those people. I was more concerned about those people. And after like rereading what my responses were, I was like, well, Lord, maybe I maybe she's thinking that I'm trying to discourage her. Maybe it's coming off as if I'm discouraging anyone who has that gift or ability or who who is in that type of ministry. It may seem or it may come off that I'm discouraging her or trying to stop that or block that, which that's not what my intentions were. I just was thinking about the unfit ones that are not prepared for that or ready for that or mature enough for that or equipped for that or shaped for that. Um, so I said, well, Lord, I repent. Maybe I was coming off as if I was trying to discourage her. So I said, well, Lord, forgive me because I mean, I don't want to be blocked. And that's another thing. I don't think that it's always good to block someone. Yes. Okay. Like if a person is coming to your page and it's obvious that they are being used by Satan and they're accusing you or and things like that, or because you know, Satan is the accuser of the brethren. If they're coming and just saying blasphemy things, um, rude things, negative things, and you know that they are being just blatantly rude. Well, yes, you do have to block people like that. But if it's someone who is just trying to have an open dialogue with you, and they may have a difference of opinion or um, they're just trying to gain better understanding from something, no, you should not block a person because they don't have the same opinions as you. You should, it's, it's good because it helps iron sharp, sharpens iron and you don't always agree, but you can respect a person's ideas that may be different from yours and learn something, which we all need to pray as brothers and sisters in Christ that we are not being offended or taking offense to something because everybody's not out to attack you. Everybody is not against you. Everybody is not trying to um, tear you down or just being negative towards you. Sometimes a different opinion is good. She means well. I just pray for her that God just to give her wisdom on how to minister to people with love. And that is my prayer for myself that I walk in love the way that God loves us, the way that Christ was with us. His method was superb. It was phenomenal the way that he won people over with love. He never was rude. He never was condescending. He never was judgmental. He, went, he never was critical none of those things those things do not work because if you are that way you can push people away from christ you can lose a soul doing things in that manner and way so we have to constantly pray for wisdom on how to win souls and we win souls through walking in love now out of all people in this world if anybody's going to be high-minded or judgmental or condescending if they could be is Jesus Christ because he is perfect but yet he was so cool he was so transparent he was so humble and he was so loving and that is my model that's who I strive to be like every day and I just pray for all of us that we all learn to walk in love because sometimes we can be critical and judgmental and sometimes we may not be aware that we're being judgmental or critical because for the longest I didn't know now i mean well i really do to the core i mean well but only god and jesus can see my heart and the origins behind the things that i say and do i mean well god knows that he sees my heart but other people can't always see my heart so i was unaware in my own life how critical and judgmental i was but i didn't know it so it was unintentionally a thing that was unintentional i didn't know that i was being critical and judgmental 
towards other people. I didn't know that. But that's something that God had to show me and point out in my own life. So, um, and then sometimes people know full-fledged, head-on, that they are being judgmental, critical, and rude, and nasty, and mean. Some people actually know that, and it's intentional, and they intentionally want to be that way. But that, that's not the place where I'm coming from. I just was not aware that I was even doing that. But anyways, guys, um, I just kind of wanted to share that. And I want to know what my other brothers and sisters in Christ, what you guys think about the dialogue that her and I have. Do you feel like she came off as rude or judgmental? Or um, do you feel like she was justified in her approach and her delivery of what she was saying to me? Um let me know because maybe I am missing something like me. I don't have a pride issue. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And I will say that I'm wrong. I don't care about it's not a big deal to me about being right all the time. I know I'm not always right all the time. And that's OK. My goal in life is not to always be right or to seem like I'm I have the upper hand and I'm right and I'm in control. Me personally. I could care less about that. All I care about is if we have a resolve. Did we did we resolve this? Did we come to some type of conclusion? Or um, did we learn anything from this? Did I learn something from this conversation? Did I walk away from this conversation better than what I went into the conversation? That's my goal. That I can take something away from whatever um discussion or debate that i have i'm not going in there to win or try to um change and twist someone else's opinion about something i'm going in for you to understand where i'm coming from and for me to understand where you're coming from that's my goal i don't i don't have to be right i know i'm not always right i don't have to be that's not a big deal to me but some people that is a big deal to them that they always have to be right, always have to have the last say, always have to have the final word and look like they're the bigger person. I don't care about that. I just want understanding from you and from me that we understand each other collectively respecting our differences. That's where I'm at with it. But just let me know um, your thoughts on this dialogue in the comment section and let's just keep this thing going. I hope you guys are blessed and hope you all have a wonderful day. Ciao. <laughs>